In today's video, I'm gonna quickly, and I mean very quickly, show you how to trim videos using the YouTube video editor. Welcome back to another video guys, my name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if you're interested. Today we're gonna to do a very quick tutorial which is inspired by some events that transpired earlier today. I did my first live stream. This right here is it, it was a Friday morning live stream. Shout out to everybody who jumped in the comments section and chatted with me for about 45 minutes. Now, for the first four minutes, we're having some technical difficulties. Like I said, uh, you know, it was my first live stream, so we were having some microphone audio capture problems and I didn't actually fix the echo which was going on until about the four minute mark. Now, I wanna have this go up onto my channel now that I've completed the live stream and this is it. You know, I'm just sat at my desk breaking stuff down, answering questions and I want it to go up as an archive but I don't want people to have to, you know, uh, be suffering through the first four minutes of crappy audio so I wanna trim it and I wanna get to this section here. Today I'm gonna show you how to actually get here which isn't as obvious as you'd think they'd Try and make it be to actually edit your video, but I'm going to show you how to trim a video down and uh, you know kind of get the bit that you want gone out of the front. All right. So first off, what we want to do is go to our Creator Studio. So say we're just on YouTube regularly, head over to the Creator Studio and go to Try Studio Beta. Oh, just like that. Go to Try Studio Beta and filter it to videos. Just like that, we can go to videos, and when we're on videos, we will have the uploads, which will be, you know, normal, or we'll have live. So if you're trying to edit a regular video, just stay on uploads and, uh, you know, click it, or we're, I'm gonna go to live, basically, all right? So all I do is I click live, and I find that live replay is right here, and I can see that's my video, and I can actually click on it. When we click on it, we're gonna come to the editing function, but we open up a new area called the editor over here on the left hand side and that's how we can click it and then we're teleported into the actual editor itself and it will actually start writing the video file and the video layer and then it'll write the audio layer. And then we can actually go across to where we want to split the clip. So for me, I know it's around the four minute mark somewhere so I'm actually just gonna start listening in to see where I wanna start it. The device is going with the audio. This shit must be better. Yo, shout out to Hendrix. Big up Hendrix. Hendrix in the chat room right now. Big legend, big Hendrix. All right. Okay, so if I press trim, it's gonna come up with the guidelines. Now we want it to end still where it is, but we want it to start at around here. So I'm just gonna drag it over here for the time being and have it start right here. So we have a play and we'll start, we'll preview it by seeing where it starts, okay? Yes, there. I, th I think we fixed it, my bad, my bad. There's, but still a bit wow. of an echo. All right, okay. maybe I should try switching back to this. Other so it's looking like I just got it to the perfect point. Other, other microphone, microphone, turning off this one, and I think we might have it now. Boom, and just like that, we have trimmed down the clip, and then it is, it, it's literally as simple as pressing save. And uh, saving these changes will cause your existing video to be updated. This action is irreversible, so be careful about that. You know, um, this is really just for a situation with a video that's gone live that you need to cut a tiny bit out of it or something, if you said the wrong thing maybe, or if you need to uh, split down some footage like this, which is a 40 minute live stream, and I wanna split it down so that it takes off that beginning technical difficulty bit. So it's kinda of perfect for a live stream. You can cut down your live streams real easily by uh, you know, giving you the ability to chop off the bullshit, kinda of cut the fat, if you will, um, you know, where you might have been running some tests in the beginning, and it will take a while to process, there's no doubt about it. The video is being processed, please check back later, and it's a 40 minute video, I'm gonna bet it'll take let's say at least 25 minutes to process. That's a complete random guess, but I'm judging that off of videos in the past that I've tested this method out on of, of, of kind of um, trimming them and they've been much shorter and they've still taken a good 15 minutes or so to, uh, to actually process. So I'm thinking a 40 minute video like this is gonna take a little while, but that right there is the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, more content themed around video production over on my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in an upcoming video.